Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to introduce you to libraries. So libraries are essentially just a collection of, it's just a collection of code that's already being created. You can create your own and I'll, you know, I'll show you that in a second. You, but it's just built-in libraries, you know, built-in code that performs specific functionality so you don't have to rewrite it again and again. And you know, sort of how, you know, like you do five plus five, there's functionality built in so you don't have to you know manually implement that mathematical functionality if you watch any of the videos so far you probably realize we have a square root we can do square by you know there's a few different ways so we could print so if we have a number int i equals five we could square that by doing i times by i we could do it by doing i to the power of two so this just, you know, square, you know, this just multiplies i by itself. And, do, 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 do. oh, sorry, this operator is for something else. My bad, I was thinking of a different language. It is just like, we can square it like this, but how would we square root it? The way we can square root it, and if I just do an easy number like nine, so we'll know, you know, if the answer is correct, is we can use a built-in library called maths library. And to import it, or to add it, we have to import it. At the start, use the keyword import, put a space, empty quotation marks. Inside here, you put dart, colon, then the library. And I'll provide a link so you can see you know, all the different libraries that you can utilize. And now this has been imported. It's blue because we haven't actually you know, done anything with it. We need to put a semicolon at the end. And now what we can do is use the method called sq. RT, which is built into the math library, and pass in I. And now if we run that, we get a result of three. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot more functionality, the stuff for conversion, for input output to do with files, to do with HTTP sockets. And like I said, I'll provide a link so you can access all of that. But maybe you want to create your own library. My thinking, why would they ever want to create my own library? One of the reasons is so in another file you could essentially just import that and access all of the functionality and to create your own library at the start you put library library and then you know you put the name so i'm going to put it custom underscore lib and this is now a custom library you would probably, obviously, in this editor, I can only have the one file. So if you, as an extra task, I'm going to put it into another editor, like ID, I mean, IntelliJ IDE, or, you know, Visual Studio Code, your choice. Create two files, two Dart files. One of them has a main, and the other one has this line, library custom lib, and under that, have a couple of maybe some, you know, calculator functions, like addition, subtraction, multiplication division and then I want you to import this library using a similar line to this a similar line it will literally just be custom dot dot that's all you have to do so it'd be custom dot dot or you know whatever the name of the file is and then you can actually use all of that code inside so that's an extra task for you and it's a pretty complex task so if you have any questions Feel free to pop me a message and I will assist you. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.